Guelph, Ontario today, talking to Andrew McPherson, who's one of my producers. Uh, he produced four songs on my MR album. <laughs> Who is Andrew McPherson? Are you a, a musician, artist, producer? DJ. Garbage collector. <laughs> homemaker. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, uh, I think I'm just like anybody who's sort of managed to rough it out for 20-odd years in this game. You just start to not only sort of glom on to the things that you're good at, but also start exploring things that have you know, you've been curious about, but maybe you weren't necessarily trained in or, or uh, didn't have a natural facility for it first. So, you know, like I've started DJing the last few years as a way to, to promote the Equideck records. Echo Deck is this kooky project that I started about seven years ago um, after working with uh, a Rwandan musician uh, who had moved to Canada. He fled the genocide in Rwanda and um, we started to work on his record which was kind of this strange mix of jazz and pop and his traditional Rwandan or I don't even Kirindese I think is, is his culture. Uh, musical kind of hybrid and he had to abandon that record uh, just for personal reasons so I in a kind of just a desire to explore my interest in world music uh, started experimenting with some of the elements from his recordings and it just went so well the first track it was just such an such a successful kind of fusion that I I called him up and I said hey you know you have all this amazing music that you've kind of let go fallow um would you mind if i kind of further explored this notion of fusing kind of modern production and groove and beats and stuff like that with live players and these beautiful like vocal performances right and, and like totally idiomatic guitar style from from uh, africa and uh, and he he agreed and so out of that came the first record more africa in us um which also had collaborations with a, a fellow from mali a singer from Mali who was visiting that I met. <laughs> so it's become this kind of global electronica fusion project that's really funky, really cinematic in its production, um, but pretty much centered at all of the tracks are these incredible vocal performances by these ethnic people of, of various ethnic kind of origins. Let's summarize some of the successes that you've had with Echo Deck. So um, what I'm aware of is that, well, you're with an independent label mm -hmm. called... Uh, White Swan. White Swan. You've had a track in, in the Buddha Bar compilation, number nine. Yep. Right? Yeah. And uh, lastly, but not least, is you were nominated for this year's uh, Juno Award for Best World Music Album. Yeah, yeah, that was kind of one of those moments where your universe just goes like this. <laughs> you think, wow, that many people care? Okay. <laughs> well, I guess we better look good on stage then. <laughs> two um, yes, uh, indie uh, music awards which are basically Canadian independent music awards that yes. they tend to sort of operate a little bit outside of like the Juno's reach which is more of an industry kind of award um, and, and I think that the really great thing about the indie awards has been that they're they're pretty much fan driven so they're voter based uh, I mean there is some voting within uh, you know the Canadian Music Week uh, panelists and stuff like that but but it's just it's kind of nice to know that people actually feel strongly enough that they'll get online they'll vote for you and and you know 
kind of make their support known that way. So, so that's been great. We've won that uh, on the last two records, actually. So, um, okay. So here's a million dollar question: How has uh, being nominated for a Juno changed your life? Well, short of not being able to walk down the street without being <laughs> mauled, uh, it really hasn't. I mean, I think it's more been the personal kind of feeling of validation. You know, is this something you wanted? I suppose everybody likes to feel like they're operating at that level, you know, of acknowledgement and, and at least visibility, you know. Mm. I mean, I find the awards thing not to be just sort of falsely uh, humble, but it's just such a weird concept to decide that, oh, well, these are the five best recordings yeah. of the year. Yeah. When you know that you've heard stuff that's blown your mind all year that doesn't even get in to the discussion doesn't even get invited to the table and of course it's just an opinion right and it's a it's a group of people that arbitrarily are making a decision and i i don't think that it's not that the acknowledgement isn't a validation of some you know tangible nature i just think it's just a strange thing the whole notion of awarding somebody but not somebody else mm -hmm. um and you know i work extremely hard to get where I am and to bring Echo Deck to this kind of level of profile but but I know lots of people that work just as hard as I do so I just figure that karmically or somewhere in the cosmos this is all being balanced out at the end of the day you know? so you got to perform at the Junos as well yeah I mean that was the that was even crazier than being nominated <laughs> was being asked by you know one of the biggest concert draws in Canada you know Great Big C um, being asked by them to you know, essentially do a Robert Johnson Led Zeppelin cover to close the show, you know, with Hoxley Workman. And we're, we're like, are you guys sure you want us to do that? It is Echo Deck you want, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, because you, yeah. you have to imagine, right? Well, here we are doing a cover of a classic Zeppelin cover and thinking, what did I do to get to this position in life, you know? But, you know, uh, to their credit, uh, Great Big C and Warner Music, I think they really felt like they wanted to do something that, that stirred the pot musically and performance-wise to, to do something that was actually going to be really different. Um, so, yeah, that was an amazing, an amazing thing, you know, to mm. be playing in front of 8,000 screaming fans who don't even know why you're up there <laughs> until you play. And then they're like, well, that was amazing. <laughs> Bangalimu, 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 bangal